In this video, I'll show you how to multiply two matrices in a word problem. The question reads, a certain store sells four types of radios priced at $71, 62 83 and $49 retail. On the first day, the store sold a quantity of 8, 3, 7, and 6, respectively. On the second day, the store sold quantities of 5, 9, 1, and 4 of each. The first part reads, how much is the total retail dollar income for each of the two days? To represent this as a matrix, we need to produce a row vector for the types of radios. So that can be shown as 71, 62, 83, and 49. And for each of the days, we can represent them as column vectors. Here's what I mean. So for day one, we can have a column vector for how many were sold, 8, 3, 7, and 6. And day two can be represented right beside it, where we have 5, 9, 1, and 4. So to find out how much was made in day one, we can multiply this row vector with this column vector. Here's how to do that. 71 times 8 plus 62 times 3 plus 83 times 7 plus 49 times 6. If you do it correctly, it should look like this. Day 1 is equal to 71 times 8 plus 62 times 3 plus 83 times 7 plus 49 times 6. Multiplying and adding all of these up should give you how much was made on day 1. And on day two, you should have the same thing. This times that, and so on. 71 times 5, plus 62 times 9, plus 83 times 1, plus 49 times 4. Let's use our calculator now to find out the answers. If you've done this correctly, you should end up with the following two answers. Let's move on to part B. How much would the income have been if the radios were discounted to the following prices. So instead of rewriting the row vector and the two column vectors, I'm going to expand my first matrix. And by that I mean adding another row where the prices are now 69, 57, 75, and 36. And you'll literally be doing the exact same calculation as you did in A, but with this brand new row vector. If you've done this correctly, it should look like this. So your two expressions should look like this for day one and day two. Now you can use your calculator to find the answers to both of these. And if you do it correctly, you should end up with the following two numbers. So as you can tell, the earnings have decreased and you would expect that given that the prices were discounted. For part C, we're asked, how much would the income have been if the radios were marked up 75, 65, 90, and 57? So once again, I'll be expanding my first matrix to include these prices, 57, 65, 90, and 57. And you find the answer to C by doing the same thing as you did in parts A and B. And if you've done that correctly, you should end up with the following. And as expected, the earnings went up for both of the days. To represent your answer as a matrix, your final answer, which includes the solutions for A, B, and C, you would write down the following, where M represents day one and day two, 1629 and 1192. Row two represents the discounted version at 1464 and 1077. And the last row represents the marked up version, 1767 and 1278. And there you have it. That is how to multiply two matrices in a word problem.